guys, my name's Ashley and we're going to talk about the brat life. Today we're going to be discussing music. And since it's a massive thing within my life, I can guarantee you that this is not going to be the only video of this nature. This year, one thing I've been continuing to notice more and more as I branch out on my different music tastes is when bands label themselves within a certain genre. Don't get me wrong, I think that's wonderful because if you're looking for a certain type of music and you want to focus on it, you can find that genre and research it and then find other bands within it. My issue is the box or barrier that it puts around the creative output. One of the best examples I can give you is when a band labels themselves as Christian. This is because as a Christ follower, your relationship with him is going to change and as you develop into the person that God's created you to be, so is your relationship and outlook on him. With that being said, I don't think Christian bands should strictly label themselves as worship or if they are a Christian band, feel like that's the only kind of music that they can put out. A great example of a band that I absolutely love because they break this barrier and don't consider themselves a Christian band is As Cities Birds. The reason why is because they create music about their lives and their life just happens to be centered around God. With that being said, they have music where they're angry at God, where they're accepting of God, where they're joyful and thankful about the things that he's done for them. It's about their walk, their life, everything that God's put in front of them. That way they're not strictly proclaiming, praise our Father, because not everyone feels that way 100% of the time. Again, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love worship bands. Right now my absolute favorites are the Jordan Howerton Band and Young Oceans, and I have been jamming to them non-stop. But by labeling yourself as a Christian band, you create this bubble around you that you're not allowed to pop. This goes for every single type of band out there, and that's what really frustrates me, is when a band labels themselves within a genre, the audience freaks out and starts throwing a giant hissy fit when their music evolves. A band's sound should be allowed to evolve and change throughout their duration of them creating music. This is because music is an expression of the creator's worldviews, passions, experiences in life, and those change as you grow up. Just as a person grows up in life, wouldn't you expect the same about their music? Just think about the ever-present music industry. Within the mainstream world of music, the creator's goals and aspects have been altered and skewed from the original creator's purpose. This is because their goal is no longer about self-expression, it's about money and fame. The people who generate this music have a specific algorithm and structure to creating their songs so that it gets stuck in your head. Therefore, they're no longer creating music for the audience to enjoy, but instead to get stuck in their head and buy. Every song is made the same for a reason. It's no longer about passion and that infuriates me because music should be one's self-expression. It should be what you do for yourself. It doesn't even have to be about the audience. When we look at Kurt Cobain, he created music as a form of rage against the music industry because he believed that music should be about passion and about life and not about creating this audience that's going to project you forward just because they enjoy and share it with everyone else. That still sounds bad. Okay, that's good. That's good for a band. But when it's all constantly about gaining the money and the fame and not about doing it for personal reference or to incite others, that's when it's negative. But then he started to gain massive amounts of fame. He created this enormous audience. And can you imagine the depression that would have hit on him that his exact reason for starting his music was his downfall? That's why when I look at his suicide, that's the only thing I can think and take out of that situation. He started something to change the course of the music industry, but instead his entirety fell back into that same industry and didn't change anything. That point can be argued because Nirvana is still listened to to this day and a lot of people have testimonies about how it's touched their lives and how they love this music. I'm not taking that into a grain of salt. But just looking at the whole aspect of what had happened, it's frustrating. He pursued to change people's preconceptions of what popular music should be. It shouldn't be about this catchy tune. It should be about something that makes you feel. With all this being said, I have to point out that I am a 100% believer in the statement, art is subjective. 
Therefore, my opinion about music is just as valid as anybody else's. So if you've disagreed with what I've said, please leave it down in the comments. I would absolutely love to hear what you guys have to say about the topic. By sharing your ideas and views, we can generate this awesome discussion. However, it should be pursued in the correct way. Meaning, we shouldn't start an argument, but instead listen to each other and keep an open mind because you never know when someone else might be correct and you may be false, or they might just have an aspect that you never viewed before, and it would be amazing to gain that kind of insight. Who knows, maybe I'm lacking the ability to see the potential of mainstream music, and one of you could enlighten and involve my view. This is also why I should probably have an open mind for mainstream music. Yes, I do not necessarily agree with the purpose behind it, but then again, some of the songs could have content within them that could reach out to people, and I should honestly have an open mind about that, because right now I'm being pretty contradictory to my own statement. So I guess my homework for this week will be listening to mainstream radio and trying to gain something out of it. The artist of this week will be Liz Vice. I absolutely love her soulful sound. She brings back the 70s and it's just wonderful and I just love to sit down and just... Mm, I just soak it all up and I absolutely love her voice. If I, I will put a link down in the description to her song Abide and it would be really awesome when you go check it out because She's amazing. I am Ashley. Stay ready.